بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful I bear witness that there is no god but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger Our subject tonight is the color purple. The color purple. An American story for the whole world. It's about life. It's about love. It's about us. You will always remember, Mr. Shook. Old Mister Nettie Harpo Squeak Sophia and Seeley. You will never forget the color purple. There's a lot of controversy over this movie The Color Purple How many of you in this audience have seen the movie May I see your hands Practically everyone Those who have seen it have not gone away neutral Everyone has an opinion about this movie. Some pro, some con. Some good, some bad. The arguments rage on in our community, in the churches, in the schools, at home. In some cases it has provoked serious argument. but in all cases controversy and controversy is not necessarily negative for it forces us to think if we understand the time then we are able not to see things but to see into things now that's the base of my subject the color perp Now, since you understand that your enemy is not trying to get you up and out from under their pull, then you must look at everything that is done by and permitted by and that comes through your enemy with the eye of one who wants to rise. and one who is looking into this thing to see what is in it to keep me where i am under their grip and under their power the color purple yes sir subtleties the color purple now here's a movie with nearly an all black cast whites are in the movie incidentally but they are the unseen all pervasive reality but they are not seen you must understand that but most who see the picture don't understand that whites are very present there but they're not seen the color purple from the opening of that movie nearly 60% of the women in the audience could identify with incest that's hard for you to believe but incest is common 
in the black experience today. But what you don't see when the enemy is writing a script from the book and making a movie for you to see. His aim is not just artistic. His aim has to do with the overall theme that I worked on for 15 minutes before I got into the color purple. His aim is if you rise, he falls. So in order to impair your rise, I must put things before you that will increase the possibility of your never coming to power. And if I continue to lambaste the black man, right. if I destroy the man in your eyes and in his own eyes, he will never be able to rise. And if he does not rise, I will not fall. The right. is, if you rise, he falls. So in order to impair your rise, I must put things before you that will increase the possibility of your never coming to power. And if I continue to lambaste the black man, right. if I destroy the man in your eyes and in his own eyes, he will never be able to rise. And if he does not rise, I will not fall. Look now, insight. The color purple. I am not arguing about the reality of what is on the screen. I am arguing about the motivation. The subtlety in those who write that you never see. Those who direct that you never see. Those who are behind the scenes using the God-given talents and gifts of brilliant black artists to portray something that dehumanizes mm -hmm. and keeps you in a mold that you cannot come to power with yourself. The color purple. Produces a son that is a wimp. Another man, now he's totally out of the box. And he's so out of the box, he marries a mother figure in Oprah. And Oprah is so strong and magnificent in her strength till she just overpowers the man that she married. So the, the image that we get here is the strong woman coming through all the time. 
The woman that is abused, the woman that is misused, the woman that is the strength and the cornerstone of everything, everybody dumps on the woman. And finally, we get a strong woman, and she gets a man that is so weak <laughs> that she ends up fighting white people while he stands on the sideline trembling. She said, take my children home. He becomes mama. While she stands and battles the police, she tells him, take my babies home. Look at that. That's the cutest cute thing I ever saw. Can you give me some sugar? Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're so sweet. Hey, you are 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 so sweet. What did she say? Hey, can't you pump that crude a little faster? Gail, what did you say to Miss Millie? I said, hell. <gasps> oh, Miss Sophia. No, Miss Sophia, no! I'm going to make this um, brief. In the end, finally, she gets strength. Everybody in the theater is happy. She finally gets the strength to rebel against this no good man. He said, come on here, woman, and shave me. <laughs> and everybody in the movie is with her when she picks up the ring. <laughs> and everybody in the movie is saying, cut the son of a so-and-so. Cut it, cut it, cut it. You, you can see her making up her mind to kill him now. And everybody in the audience is with him. Kill him. Even the brothers in the audience say, yeah, that nigga ain't right. Kill him. <laughs> kill him. No good nigga. But you don't see the white man have made him like that. You don't see that the social circumstances have destroyed your man and destroyed you. And now you about to destroy your man and hear the razor. He's acting the fool, and he's really calling for his demise. <laughs> and this other one is running. You see her running to try and get there to stop this girl from killing this man. And some in the audience is saying, Lord, stop her. <laughs> and some saying, I hope you fall. <laughs> that nigga need to be killed. <laughs> and she gets there just in time to save that girl. Finally, in the end, she gets courage and she stands up against him very strongly. She got strength. Oh, I can't miss you. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is gonna cry. Don't do it, Miss Celia. Don't trade places with what I've been through. Let's go to the car. He ain't 
ain't worth it. He ain't worth it. Who do you think you is? Cuss. You can't cuss nobody. Look at you. You're black, you're poor, you're ugly, you're a woman, you're nothing at all. Till you do right by me. Everything you even think about gonna fail. It's been a pleasure meeting her. Because she's finally getting the upper hand over this man. Finally, she walks out on him. He goes right on down to nothing. The way he was when she met him. Dirt and filth and garbage. But the subtlety is, in that state, something happens to him. And he wants to try to make amends. It's a subtle point. It's there, but he did so much evil till you don't even notice the good that he's trying to do. So he takes the money that he saved and he makes it possible for the sister and her children to come back to make the reunion. So in the end, you see this reunion between the two sisters. And you see his image in the field. But he's faded in the background now. He's doing good, but his good is too little, too late. But he's trying now, but don't nobody have no sympathy for him. He says, this is the day of his dream. Mama. Some of us need. Yeah. See, this is, this is Olivia. Mama. Mama. I want to know you, Mama. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and see, Adam has a wife. Tashi, Tashi. Come, Tashi. This is my sister. Abare, Mama. Fry, son, I'm scared, my Leon, my son, I'm gonna fry, son. Let me conclude <clears throat> by saying that when you look at this movie, the innocence of it is just a movie. Surely there is no diabolical plot in a movie. I mean, it was written by a black person. The screenplay was done by a white person. It was directed by this marvelous director, Spielberg. And look, um, what's that great musician's name? <laughs> Quincy had a part in it. It must be all right. But beloved, today, our people's hunger to be seen to be famous, to have money, is like a trap. 
because the Jews that control Hollywood recognize that your rise is the fall of their world. Even though all these artists, you know, you like them. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't, you don't, you don't dislike them. You like them. I love the brothers and sisters myself, but I don't love what they're into. You understand? Now they are in the gravitational pull of the world. So as they try to write a lyric that may speak to getting out of the world, somebody said, well, that's not going to sell too well. You know, why don't you, why don't you take this lyric here? And they come up with something more filthy than the last person's song. Let's do it again, or let's do it all night and all through the day. I'm not trying to be smart, but that's the kind of mess that our children are hearing all day all night you turn on your radio i mean i listen to the white disc jockeys now that have moved out the black ones and the, and you know that the conversation that they have is so stupid and filthy it is such a gross misuse of the airwaves destroying the minds of their young and ours why everything must be done to hinder your what and if we can hinder your rise, we will not fall. Right, folks, though? So your music is degraded. Your styles are degraded. Oh, yeah. Your whole mindset is bent on your destruction. So we live the color purple. Our subject tonight is the color purple. 